Welcome back, everyone, to our Napoleon the Great War Modification Deutsches Reich. Um, let's play. There we go. Um, so, been having lots of fun with this. Uh, this let's play. It's really it's coming along to get nicely to get. Uh, it's coming along nicely, as is the British campaign. Both are doing very well. Very happy. Uh, this one I'm a bit scared, just for uh, a couple of reasons. We have a damaged army here. Um, the Austrians are allied with me. Just those rebels being a little bit annoying. But you know, that's just part of life. I'm just hoping war France doesn't declare war on me again. That would be quite the thing. Spectacular turn of events. Oh, they haven't. Well, that's just wonderful. Oh! Well, we looks like we have a fight on our boys, but... On our... Let me try this again. Looks like we have a fight on our hands, boys. Alexei Brusilov against the Crown Prince Willem of Prussia. Oh, yes, quite good old, sir. This should be easy. Uh... Not expecting much of a fight from the Russians, to be honest. And uh, this would be their last stand, I believe. They are attacking, so I do not have to attack. I can fortify. Uh, this should be should be a fun battle. Uh, I'm going in with uh, confidence here. I'm going in with confidence because, uh, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Beautiful artillery. Crucial part of every army. Um... Actually, I'm, le I'm learning about Napoleon now, straighten up a bit. And uh, he was one of the main people who agreed that artillery was, uh, you know, one of the one of the most crucial parts in an army. And uh, I believe he was correct on that part. Um, you know, artillery can, can really make or break a battle at, at, at points. Uh, you wouldn't expect it to, but it, it has a giant influence on um, morale as well you know when you see guys getting bombarded from your own troops and stuff you know it's not pretty it's not pretty all right let me, let me just organize my troops here for a second because I'm a bit a bit disorganized I'm a bit disorganized you guys are group I should want to take a look at our Prince Willem here. Uh, it, don't tell me this is old guy. Look how young he looks in the picture. How handsome. Well, that's just... Oh, no, I think it is him, actually. Yeah, that's him. Well, I guess the older he is, the more experience he has. Uh, should we keep these guys as backup? Or what are we doing here? Because then if, if we're going to keep them as backup, I can't have them fire. Um, their deployment lines do end there. So we are in the prime position to shoot at them. Just here. Uh, I'm gonna not going to... I'm going to keep these guys here. Hopefully this is a better... Somewhat better position for them. These guys... Uh, yeah, they can just be reserve troops. Reserve units. There we go. This looks pretty good. And let's get this party started. Beautiful volley. First volley. And here we go. Oh, they have quite an arsenal as well, though. I believe this, yes, four regiments. 
of artillery. Uh, we are in a favorable position though because um because we have barricades to stop the cannon shells. Ooh, yikes. They're brave, these Russians. I'll give them that. They are certainly very brave. Just got a couple of units holed up inside here. I'm actually going to transfer these guys over to here. Quick switch of buildings, boys. Hope you don't mind. Hundred and ninety men. Oh, have we started? Oh, that's just me. Already down one cannon. Fifty men. Battle is looking strongly in our favor. Oh, and there goes the last guys. Oof. Yikes. I hope they're not gonna constantly fire at this building. They don't seem to be firing at all at the moment. Were they firing at that building? I believe they were. Boys, this is the time for glory. Won't get many opportunities like this to crash the Crush the remaining Russian forces. Uh, two, two cannons. And so once you win this, you boys will be advancing to Petrograd, I believe it is called. Take the Russian capital. Ooh, yikes. No, they seriously got flamethrowers. They have got flamethrowers. Don't know if that's the wisest thing to be having right now. Usually I just take these buildings for moral support. In this case I think it'd be more beneficial if we had our troops positioned like so. So good in case they try to fight our, uh, break this building again. Good, and we'll get a flanking shot on these boys who have set themselves up nicely to fight ours. If you guys would hurry up. That would be wonderful. Any time now.
Oh, we got a hole up here. Reinforcements would be appreciated right about that now. But we still do have these units. None of these have taken significant. Uh, this one has taken pretty severe beating. We'll hold back. Back to decisions. You've done well so far. You're replacing troops. We'll do well, I suppose, is to. Good. These units, this unit has arrived. Time. This boy would start running. That'd be much appreciated. Ah, oh, come on. Oh no. Time to leave. That was a lot of men killed. Actually, no. Just the boys okay? Alright, well we're gonna need to kill him. Cleanup squad is going. Line yourselves up nicely. Look good, man. Boys may take honorary positions along the wall. We are proud of participation in this battle. One, uh, a hundred out of a hundred would recommend again. Boys will line up. Come on, stragglers. Please kill the general. Don't let him go. I was a single bullet and I hit this man. He's the only person remaining. There we go. That was 
ça sent. Ok. Wow. Russia. Non doggy, be nice, be nice. I'm, I'm waiting. Uh, for my second army to come so I can uh, reinforce them. Uh, Oh. I want if okay good. Peacefully occupy. There we go. The people don't seem too uh, angry with us actually. Uh, politics. Yeah, Paris is pretty angry. Uh, they always are, though. Militarily, Italy has apparently surpassed us. Not quite sure how. Okay. Hmm. To do next. Wait is what I need to do next. All right, hold on, guys. Excuse my doggy there. For some reason she likes barking at ghosts. Ah. Finally, oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Jeez. These people. Unbelievable, oh my jeez, that costs so much money to repair. Well, they've hurt me economically. Time to take them out. Got our primary army here. Good old Mr. Mustache. Okay, we could probably take a couple of them on. Ooh, that's expensive though. Corporal and Golden Bride. Oh. Well, that's just fancy, isn't it? <laughs> Is it time for another magical military victory for this? This squad of elite units? I believe it is. Taking the Russian Empire step by step. You guys aren't going to make me much money anyways, so... Ooh, we should have advanced with that army already. Dahlia. Ah, finally. Come on, guys. We know each other well enough not to be angry. Gonna have to exempt them from taxes there. Would not be wise to anger these people any more than I have already angered them. Well, I say we're eating up a nice bit of big chunk of uh, Russia already. Now we go down south to Moscow. Uh, Our, our, our Austrian allies are dispatching some of them. It's not even a battle I need to fight. 
but I will just because they need to be taught a lesson. Gerard von Scharnholst is the attacker, our well-known general who has taken Paris, and Denis Lesage is the defender. Uh, so we have three generals right now. We have Gerard von Horst, the Prince Willem uh, of Prussia, who is doing... Uh, so Gerard von Horst, I mean, we all know this guy. This guy's been with us for a long time. Uh, he has been a successful commander in many a battles and will continue to do so here, I imagine. Uh, however, the person we have not heard of yet, well, not much, uh, not much really, is our boy, our boy, uh, whatever his name is, down in the east of France. So, he is the newcomer. However, he is the highest rated member of our army at the moment. So this should be fun. Let's get artillery in a better position on this hill. Yeah, it's perfect. We're under very good defense here. We should be fine. These rebels should never have come here. France thinks they can get away with this, signing a peace treaty and then sending in rebels under the name of supposed nothing. I mean, they supposedly have nothing to do with them, but of course, we all know, as in Ukraine, the rebels, so-called rebels, have everything to do with the <laughs> attacking country. So, someone has to supply them with weapons. Not fancy troops, but no fancy general to lead them. Oh my, being absolutely decimated. This is a joke. An embarrassment to the French army. Napoleon would have been ashamed. I'm getting a new hard drive, by the way, so I can record for longer times.
General's coming in. Brave. Brave for a last charge. That's good. Don't do you much good, but... A couple of units are coming back. Also brave. These guys have already left the battlefield. These are the guys whose names should be written down in the books. Very brave coming back on a fully charged German army. Here we go. End of battle, end of discussion. We keep Paris. It is no longer part of France. It is no longer going to be ever part of France. That's the way it's going to go from now on. Here we go. Yeah. It's brave but foolish. Can't do that just yet. Sorry. But it's okay because the Belgians are, are surrounded by us, so they can't advance exactly into your territory. Your nation is that he's available for. Cool. Why are you guys angry? Come on. I really have to take two of my units and put them down there. Just until we can get a placeholder. It's just embarrassing. Why are you guys angry? What made you, what gave you the right to be angry at me? No, 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 no. I'm not done with you. That's right. Hmm. I uh, believe that is where I'm going to leave it off for today, guys. Now, France did declare war on me again. How interesting. How very, very interesting. We'll accept peace. Look, they will. <laughs> I'm just going to keep doing that until I can get organized here with uh, both of my armies. And yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.